and welcome to Earth File. I'm Chimezie Obi Iwago. Climate change has been described as a statistical variation that persists for an extended period, typically for decades or longer. It includes shift in the frequency and magnitude of sporadic weather events, as well as the slow continuous rise in global average surface temperature. In Nigeria, reports have shown that net decrease in yield of grain impacts the water quality, forage and pasture crops for livestock, as well as changes in the epidemiology and dynamics of livestock diseases, pests and vectors. To stay with us. Climate change is possibly the most serious environmental threat that causes malnutrition, hunger, disease and poverty, mainly through its impact on agricultural productivity. There is a growing consensus that in the coming decades the world will witness higher temperatures and changing precipitation levels. The effect of this, according to reports, is that it will lead to low or poor agricultural production. Evidence has already shown that climate change is affecting crop yields and livestock in many countries, including Nigeria. Because of this impact of climate change in the world and Nigeria inclusive, Channels Television visited two poultry farms in Lagos and Ogun states and a fish pond in Ikorodu, Lagos, to ascertain the real situation and how they've been managing since then. In every farm, there is always a climate uh, change that will affect either the production or the lives of the birds. When we say climate, what do we really mean about climate? Climate is a change in weather forecast. Maybe when we're in the dry season or in the rainy season. In most cases, you have it more better when you're in the rainy season for the birds because they won't be exposed to eat. They'll be able to eat more better. But it's just that the level of water intake will have to be reduced. But when we talk about climate change in the dry season, which disturb them from eating, because then they needed more energy, but because of the level of heat then, will not allow them to take much of the feed. In most cases, when you have a structure whereby it's not well positioned, because when we set positioning, when you want to site a pen, you have two ways in which you site the pen. We have it in the vertical way or in the horizontal way. When you have it against the sun rising, most especially in the morning, when the sun is beating those beds, you see them backing the sun. As the planet warms, rainfall patterns change, and extreme events such as droughts and floods become more frequent, which results in poor and unpredictable yields, thereby making farmers more vulnerable, particularly in Africa. Research projected that crop yield, egg production, and poultry meat in many African countries may fall by 10 to 20% by 2050, or even up to 50%, due to climate change. The change in the climate essentially has great impact on livestock production. Starting from poultry, as you can see, we're in a poultry farm now. You know, when the weather is, is hot, it tends to subject the beds to a kind of condition that will make them to lose the mechanism that they have to produce gastric juices, which is very essential for digestion. So as a result of that heat stress, they will not be able to digest all the feed ingredients that they take. So as long as they are not able to take the feed ingredients very well, there will be drastic drop in egg production. Poultry farming is determined by climate changes. When the weather is reasonably okay, the weather is not hot, the production rate will be very, very good because the birds will be able to digest all the feed ingredients they are able to take. Then secondly, the feed contains some uh, essential amino acids that some, uh, the birds are not naturally endowed with the enzymes to digest it. Just like human beings, we are monogastric animals, we have simple stomach. 
So we are not endowed with some enzymes to digest all the feed ingredients. So when the birds are subjected to heat stress, they lose the capacity to even secrete the enzymes they have naturally to digest the feed. So as a result, you see drop in egg production. Increase in temperature is capable of bringing about low voluntary feed intake, decreases weight gain, low lactation yield, increased disease incidence, also depressed fertility, while decreasing precipitation in the Sahel is likely to lead to a decline in pasture yield, reduced water availability, and increased livestock mortality. In most cases, when you look at it, you ask yourself, where is the sun coming from? Where is it ending to? So when you now look at it, you say, okay, maybe it's from the east to the south or from the north to the west. But basically, what we have here is still more better to our system. When we talk about climate affecting the egg production or the feeding of the birds, one, we always, we, we, we mail here, and in the process of mailing, we have formulation. So whatever the weather is saying goes along with our formulation, with what, what we call energy in their feed. When we talk about energy in their feed, that has to do with maize, wheat over, and some other things. So when we now observe that the weather is high or low, we will now go back to our formulation to give what we match up with what they should do at that very moment. So in most cases, when you decide to go and get feed, the feed mailers too watch the climate. Maybe if it's sunning or it's becoming a raining process, what they will do is just to adjust some little little things in their formulation, which we too on this very place we are doing. And so far so good. The farm has been in existence for so many years and been mailing since then. And to this very moment, I'm telling you, God has been helping us in our mailing. There has never been a source of casualty through our feed. Because once in a while, after producing maybe like three or four times in a week, we'll go to do a feed test, feed analysis that will give us that, okay, what you have mailed is accurate with the standard of the formulation. According to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, climate change is described as an alteration in the state of the climate. Climate change leads to unequivocal and persistent increase in global temperature and sea level, which rises due to greenhouse gases and aerosols. There are some uh, management mechanisms that we do advise as veterinarians in a poultry farm to be able to combat all this uh, heat stress that I said earlier on. One of the things is that, as you can see now, this pen is a little bit raised up, so there will be adequate ventilation. And also the where the uh, pen is being sighted is in an east-west direction so that when the sun is rising the light rays will not be directly on the bed so that will also help when the weather is very hot then secondly we do uh, advise farmers to spring to use a sprayer to just get the water put ice block in it to make it cold so that they can sprinkle from time to time on it because these heat cells also reduce their immune system make their immune system to be very very down and it subject them to so many diseases. That's the reason why when the weather is hot, poultry farmers do suffer losses because of loss in the strength of the immunity. You see that the base will be subjected to several kinds of diseases. And also, during the rainy season, there are some particular diseases that poultry farmers do suffer, like coccidiosis, is a disease of the rainy season. So during the rainy seasons, most farmers, most especially farmers that are raising their beds on flow, they used to suffer coccidiosis problem a lot. There has never been a time the price of maize goes up to this very uh, stage we have. Just like uh, around March, around February, March, we're still buying maize for like 60, 65 naira, which as I then we're thinking that maize is high, not until when it now jumps even above 50% increase. So feeding of birds now becomes an issue. We have some birds, we have some farm that could not sustain it a lot of farms sold up their beds, not because they have it more, but because they could not just manage and strive on the level at which that grain. When we're talking about feed items, we're not talking about maize and grain alone. We're talking about additives. When I say additives, uh, we have different things we had into the feed, which also those ones have been affected by dollar rates. So when you now combine everything together, it's very tense, producing, having feed. But so far so good, just like I always said, in whatever we're doing, we have always put God uh, first. And till now that I'm talking to you, God has been helping us. So 
we're still having our beds. Despite the challenges of the feet, our beds are still very much okay. If for adventure in the rainy season, you will be expecting that, okay, this is the percentage you will be expecting in the egg production. In the dry season, it might not be up to. Because what we experience in the dry season will be quite different from what we experience in the rain season. So it's all based on the percentage you are able to derive as at that very time that will give you an actual insight of what is happening towards that. Then when you talk about climate again, when you are thinking that the rainy season will be more favorable for them, if the feed intake as at then, the energy is not up to what is expected of them, then you have it below what you are expecting. Actually, the poultry production in Nigeria, the farmers have invested a lot into it. But just in a recent time, because of these economic situations, that is having a little effect on them, especially in time of the inputs, talking of the feed, talking of the drugs, and other things that they are using. That is what is giving some little bit of setback on the production. But aside that, that is a very good uh, record on the production from the farmer side. But what is expected is that one of the challenges of the farmers about the production is the financials. If you look at the poultry production, it requires a lot of finance. So from the government parts, I think what they can do is that if there can be a grant or a source of money that is a mark especially for the poultry productions in Nigeria, at least we've gone in long way in, in such a way that we have a low interest rate. Because in Nigeria, what we find out is that most of our commercial banks, the interest rate is very high. And in agriculture, not only in their poultry productions, is not something that, like oil business, that you know the money comes in a multitude in a short while. It's a gradual process. It comes gradually by a long period of time. So if they can see a loan of a low interest rate, at least the financial part of it, you know, will be taken care of. And at that, it will encourage a lot of farmers to go into production. The effect of climate change can be experienced doing animal productivity. The climatic conditions reduces growth rate, prolonged time to reach puberty, lower milk yield per lactation, reduces fertility, decreased libido in male, and reduced length of ostrus in female animals. We look at it from the temperature part of it. Temperature has a lot of effect on the production, especially in the poultry, because most of the, uh, like other animals, they use their enzymatic process in digestions of their feet. And enzyme, enzymes are specific, I mean temperature specific. That means a little alteration in temperatures affect the enzymes. And once the enzymes are affected, they are not really having effect on the digestions of the food. And the bear cannot digest the food, they cannot absorb the food. And also a little the wastage, a little the increase in the production cost. Because the farmer needs to buy more food to feed them to augment for those ones they are not eating. Also the heat stress setting. The farmer needs to buy more drugs in time of multivitamins, you know, also, the, uh, the, uh, another uh, thing that they can use also is the, having a shed on, on, over their tanks so that they will not directly have the sunlight on the water. Because if the tank is exposed to the sun, it can, it, it can eat up the waters and also the temperature of the water can be increased. And it decreases the consumption of the water, it decreases the consumption of the food. Some of the challenges facing animal production in Nigeria include increasing cost of maize and grain shortage of feed supplies, inadequate breeding programs for all classes of livestock. When the sun is eating them, maybe that was when they were supposed to eat. All they will do is to back that sun. So in the process, they will not eat up to a grammage. Like when you have a bird that is of, let's say, 60 or 65 weeks, and they were to be taking 118 grams, but in the process, maybe in the morning when you finish serving and the sun rays now come and started eating them, all they need to do is at that very time to protect their faces, they will turn against the feed. And once the feed lasted maybe like 30, 40 minutes, you see them not eating it again. That's what we call something raking or rubbing. We hard stuff, you go there, you re-rub those feet. So in the process of re-rubbing, they will see it as if you are giving them another feed, which will bring in a very sweet aroma. They start picking again. Diseases and pest infestation lack of adequate use of artificial insemination, inconsistent national policy on animal production are some of the challenges.